So I am Carolyn Savage. Hello and welcome to Journaling and Meditation to attract uh, your mate, to attract more love into your life. I am a dating and love attraction coach. I have been doing this for uh, two years. I was a natural hair stylist in Seattle and I owned this natural hair salon. I am used to talking about love, relationships, getting in a relationship, getting married, divorced. So in the salon, we always, everything centers around relationships. And it's so important in our lives, especially this time of year, where if you're single, you know how important the relationship is. Or if you haven't talked to someone in a few years and maybe they call you during the holidays, you remember love, you remember having a, a good relationship with someone. So I designed this um, workshop or class, uh, we might call it sessions, but I designed this so that we can journal and meditate together. Um, meditation has been a part of my life for like oh, my 13 years or so, because when I was in a relationship, I really needed it. And I think I started doing yoga first and then a meditation just came, you know, naturally it came second. And so I just started my practice of doing it, you know, almost every day. And now I do it every day. And so uh, even my sister, she passed away. And that's when I really started really getting into it because I really needed to, it helps you to calm your mind. It helps you to uh, relax. It helps you to not overthink things and maybe think things through. It helps with stress and anxiety. Uh, anytime you're in those situations, it helps with that so much. So um, especially dating. Um, I, I've meditated before a date. You know, sometimes you want to meditate during the date. But no, I meditated before a date. I have um, meditated uh, in a relationship, like while I'm arguing or, you know, so I've journaled while, while I was um, arguing with someone and he didn't even ask me like, why are, what are you writing down? No, I just had my journal out. So, um, but yes, I, uh, and then journaling and scripting, journaling has been a part of my life, all of my life. And there's been times where, you know, I didn't journal regularly, but then there's times when I just had the journal. And so I think if you have not started journaling on a consistent basis, try it. And I hope you come back to this class so that you can, um, you know, journal with us. That's the, that's the purpose of this class. Um, it's a good idea to make sure you're in a, a really quiet space. Today it's quiet. I, I'm in the front of my house. I'm usually in an area. Of, it's my office slash meditation room. And so what I do is just close the doors and um, have that coziness. So make sure you have a room that's cozy. Let people know, you know, if you just are tuning into this and you're like, wait a minute, what's going on? Um, let people know, wait a minute, I'm getting ready. This is, uh, um, we're going to just do 30 minutes to this morning, but it's usually our whole class is an hour. So set aside, time, um, excuse me, set aside that time for yourself and just say, hey, if you have kids or if you have roommates or something, then make sure you're just setting, um, setting that time aside so that you can journal. This class is focused on anxiety over dating and self-confidence. You know what? You're, if you're single, this is what this class is for so that you can meet your mate. But if you are in a relationship, sometimes you feel single in a relationship. So come on and join us, you know, and, and maybe just, just, just script with us. But scripting is all about staying in the present moment act as if it's already happening. And so their law of attraction says, ask, believe, receive. If you know it's coming, just like the Amazon package, they say that in the, uh, the secret, but, um, and it's the same as faith. You know, I believe in God, you know, I believe in God and I believe in universe. And, um, so if you have faith or if you have, you just believe it comes, you don't know exactly how it comes, but it, it, you know, this comes. So this, this woman that you're, that you're desiring or this man that you're desiring, they're coming. And so when you write this down in the present tense and you feel it, I'm going to tell you right now, you'll be somewhere out and about and you'll just have this thing to just go and talk to that person. It's, it's an inspired action to go talk to that person because you've written about this person. It's almost like, you know, this person, you've written it, you scripted it out. So 
it's amazing. So that's, I've, I've gotten my lifestyle that I have now. I've gotten into relationships like that. That's how I got my salon. So I have really benefited from scripting. So, um, if you, you know, I, I usually like to have like, um, dedicated journals for this. I, today I have, um, well, I just wanted to show you different journals, but this is an old journal. I've had this since, uh, let me see, since 2013. I've had this and it's, it's all used up. So I love this book. And this is when I decided, it says, live the life you've imagined. So this is when I just really decided to start um, scripting. And I said, let me just, you know, because I was going through some really bad times in um, my life. And then I was single at the time too. And so I just started writing out how, um, I started writing out how, uh, it was Idris Elba. <laughs> I started writing out how, uh, you know, you have to have a character, have a real character, you know, name this guy when you're in there, name this girl, you know? And so I started to write out, okay, Idris, he's, um, oh, he's on the set right now, but he's gonna, we're getting ready to go decorate our house. Um, and I wanted to live in Philly at the time. And so it was like, okay, we're going to be in Philly. He's going to decorate the house. And I mean, we're going to decorate the house. The decorator is coming today. Then I would say, you know, like, um, we're going to go on trip, a trip with um, our friends, like a boat cruise or something. So I would literally write all this out and all the things. Um, I would write Christmas lists in this. I would do all kinds of stuff. But I love this one because if I look back at it, it almost makes me cry because my life is right here and I, I scripted it. And so then another journal, and this is my journal that I've um, created for just for you guys. And it's do one thing every day that scares you. A friend of mine gave me a card and she, um, and it had this on it. So um, a good journal, this has prompts in it. And so um, this is a great one. This is on my uh, website and it's in the link below too, but this is a good one to have because you, in order to date, you do need to do some things that scare you. And sometimes instead of being in that old comfort zone um, of meeting those default uh, people that you meet and that, you know, the people that you might sleep with, but you know, you'll never be in a relationship with, um, I ain't going to call you out, but <laughs> you know, so, uh, but anyway, so just, this is a good one too, um, to have. That's a daily one because you, you know, do something that scares you every day and write it down and you're going to be writing about it in that journal. And then I have this journal where I travel. So all, all my um, travel that I want to do, I budget, I put it all in here, the restaurants, everything. And I, I get what I want in here. I have my Paris trip. I just went to Paris in July. So those type of things. And then I really do want you guys to have a, um, and I'm scripting in this one today too, because I, I still got some room. Um, but, oh yeah. And then, so let's see. Um, a good way to really get into, oh, let me put this, a good way to really get into, um, into it. And, and, um, you can put pictures up, like that's the ring that I want. You can put, um, you know, anything that you can think of to bring in, to bring in this feeling. So that's what you want to do. If you need to bring, oh, I got to light my candle. Um, if if you want to bring sense into the room, you want to bring pictures into the room with you. Um, some people have an altar and, you know, look some, look some of these things up because this is just for manifestation and to bring things in. And that's just a great way to just really feel it. I just really said really feel it. Okay. So what we're going to do today is I'll make sure you have everything with you, your water, um, your journals. So today I'm going to guide you through a meditation and then we are going to right after that, I'm going to ask you some questions. And those are just, like I said, present tense. Some may be in the past, but present tense questions that you will write out in your journal. If you can't hear the question or need me to repeat it, um, go ahead and just put it, put it in the chat. Um, make sure you are in a, I want to put this down. Oh. Let's see. Just okay. So you're in a seated position. I'm on the floor. Got my back against a pillow. Got a pillow. 
and you're, uh, I keep looking at this computer. Um, yes. Okay. And so, yes, yeah, so make sure you're on the floor. You usually put your hands, you can put your hands in the receiving, which is your palms facing, um, your palms are facing up. And I usually put my hands up to the, it's a mudra, but I usually do that. And then you can put your palms down if you're just feeling anxious and you need to be grounded or you don't feel secure or you don't feel safe. So you want to just um, put your hands down um, to be grounded. So I will lead you through a guided meditation. You will hear the music and then we will journal after that and I'll give you the prompts. Um, any questions? And um, I see some more people came. Okay, good. I see, all right, you're from uh, Texas. We got Hawaii. I love it. I love it. Okay. And oh, see, we got Chicago in the house. Welcome to this guided meditation to attract love into your life. Get comfortable in your seated position. Legs crossed. Hands on your knees in an upward mudra or facing down. Any thoughts that come up or anxieties around relationships or attracting love, let them flow. Let those thoughts flow and melt away. Relax your shoulders. Soften your feet, unfurl your brow. We'll take a few deep breaths together. In through your nose, hold. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. out through your mouth. This last breath, let's take a very deep breath. Hold your belly in through your nose. And push out, making a noise. Release, release, release. We'll take one more in through your nose. out through your mouth. Throughout this meditation, just be aware of your breath as you breathe normally and softly. I am so grateful for love. I am worthy of love now. I attract men who are emotionally available for me. I meet mentally healthy, high-minded, intelligent men. I am attracting a financially stable and abundant man who is generous and thoughtful. He manages money well. He is honest and open. I am attracting love. I am so grateful for love. My heart is open to receive love. I am worthy of love now. I am attracting love. I am attracting a man who listens and adores me. We have amazing conversations. It's easy to communicate with high value men I find attractive. My heart is ready and open to receive love from a man I trust. It's easy to communicate with high value men I find attractive. My heart is ready and open to receive love from a man I trust. I trust my intuition, it guides me. I trust I can choose the best partner for me. 
I forgive myself for mistakes I have made in choosing men who do not serve my highest good. I now rely on my higher divine self to choose the man who is right for me. I am worthy of love. I deserve love. I am enough. I feel this man coming into my life. And I am ready to love and be loved. This man speaks to my love language, unselfish acts of service. This man gives me affection. This man gives me quality time. I am so grateful. I am open to love. I am open to giving affection. I am open to giving words of affirmation to this man I am attracting in my life. He loves me just the way I am. He loves my hair. He loves my eyes. He loves my luscious lips. He loves my body just the way it is. He loves my smile. He loves my curves. He loves me and only me. I am available for his love. I am love. I am so grateful for love. I am attracting love into my life. I am worthy of love. And so it is. Namaste. Okay. So write out any feelings that came up after hearing that, that you're worthy of love, that you're attracting love. Just write out in your journal. We're going to write for three minutes and I'll put the timer up for you.
Okay, that goes quick, doesn't it? So, okay, so for your first prompt, I want you to write out your core desired feelings when you're in a relationship. So any past relationship you've been in, and maybe it's been a while, but um, remember those uh, words that just bring you, what do you want in a relationship? So how do you want to feel? So your core desired feelings. And they're just, we're going to just write, um, just write the words and not so much. If you want to go um, expand a little bit, but just write the words. Um, and that reminds you of when you get into this relationship that you're attracting, this is how you want to feel. Uh, we're just going to write for two minutes. Let me know if you need to, if you can't see that. Okay, there we go. Oh, can't find my uh, timer. Okay, it's way up here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so for this next one, where will you meet the, your special person, whatever you call them, you know, we, I say mate, partner, soulmate, special person, your girlfriend, your love of your life, your, your uh, spouse, you know, because this could be your future wife, could be your future husband. Um, in, the, in the guided meditation, I always, I, my, most of my clients are women, so excuse me if I always say uh, uh, men this or he this he that but uh, if just put that in place of put she in the place of that or if you're in a um, gay relationship or you know whatever it's your preference but it's in my mind so I have to adjust uh, my words sometimes so whatever you call your special person just how will you meet that person and then just be very descriptive in this moment like I'm at the um, you know, my place is uh, superior seafood, but I'm at superior seafood. I'm looking good. You know, I got my hair done and everything. And I'm just sitting there minding my business, um, just uh, about to get a drink. 
and then uh, this person comes up to the table and starts talking to me or we eyeball each other so just kind of tell that story and so this one's gonna be let's just write let's write this one for like five minutes and then we'll have one more question after this but this just gives you an example of how to actually script and i'm telling you i want you to get in exactly how you walked in how this person walked in or you saw them from the corner of your eye and you weren't sure if you wanted to talk to them so you're going to bring it all in the emotions feelings everything and then just tell this story of uh, how you met this person okay let me put that on there mm -hmm.
that, you know what? I bet you guys got lost in writing it and you thought you were in that scene. So it's like a scene in a movie, really, you know, because I know you watch the rom-coms. <laughs> Me and you guys watch those rom-coms too. We catch you on a Sunday by yourself. But um, when you're writing that, you only, you're writing it only for five minutes here with me. But like with me, I only got half of my story done. I barely, you know, I always got to say what I have on. He smelled good. He smelled really good. And I love shoulders. So I have to describe his shoulders. So, you know, like I said, be very descriptive. So after you, after this um, session with me, just go back and um, it's cozy. It's, it, I'm sure it's kind of cozy in your house. Go and just stay in this space and continue writing your story on how you met this person that's coming into your life. And I just wanted to give you just a sample of our class because we're gonna be doing this every week. Um, if you wanna tune in tonight at eight o'clock, uh, we're gonna do a full hour class and that's, um, we're, I'm gonna do it for free. It's usually $15 and you can go to my site um, and uh, check that out. And so we'll have different sessions and. We go into a little bit more as we, um, as I get to know you guys and you come up with different, you, you tell me your different struggles and then things that we need to, you know, there's hurdles that you need to get over in dating. And these are some of the blocks. And so with these questions to yourself that sometimes you don't even ask yourself, then you'll figure out why are you still single or why do you still attract that same negative person or that same person that doesn't um, doesn't benefit you or they don't bring you to a level that you need to or you, your communication is so off but your sex is amazing so i hope this helped and uh, did you guys have any questions uh put it in the chat if you have any questions put it in the chat put a uh Put a bomb in the chat if you just thought this this is great and it gave you a little bit of a different perspective of how you can attract your mate and how you can feel more confident about it. If you're writing how confident you are, you're writing out how um, you feel when you met him and maybe you were you said something to him and you were aggressive, you know, and sometimes you have to have an ultra ego in this scripting, but then in real life, you'll just kind of remember like, oh yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just say this, I'll do this, you know? So it's just write out what you want and that that will come to you. That person that, that you're thinking of will come to you. So, and then just remember to, um, if you, I, you, you know, if you just, journals are fun to me. So I just get different journals, but if you want, get a special journal. This is a journal for um, getting over fear and anxiety but get another journal for love and attraction. And you can also find different journals on my website as well. So um, you, if you need to message me and you want to ask me any questions, I am a dating coach. So you can um, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me and then we can go from there. So um,